little bit of elbow grease there. That's quite the difference, huh? Camera's focused. Yep, there it is. So, we'll do that six more times and see what we get. I can. I gotta figure out how to jack this thing up yet. Haven't totally thought about that. I'm working on that idea while I'm cleaning these bolts. I don't know yet. Like I said, trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. So I don't know about you guys, but you don't really realize how big a Gravely Rider is until you get it most of the way put together and it takes up half your shop. Eh. But boy. Getting this thing back together, man, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. So next thing on my mission is electrical. Looks like somebody at some point, well, whoever took this apart, I don't know. Cut the wires, so I'm gonna assume two wires the same color there go to the stator. And this black and black with white on it goes to the coil. Am I assuming right? Uh, looks like it to me. Looks like a white stripe to you guys. Actually, it looks better on camera. I remember. I'm going to take this off right now. I remember I needed the points for this for the 818 because they were back ordered for a month or something. Look, the only thing I didn't put back in here was the condenser. I'm pretty sure I bought a new condenser and stuff for this. So, get that going. Yeah, from what I remember, it just the condenser actually goes over here in the corner. There's a little tab on it that bolts down there, and they both go over to the points. I think I have a new set of points and a condenser for this. I think. I don't know. I've figured it out. There's going to be a lot of things I'm going to have to figure out on this. Because my only run-in with a B-Series has been my 818. <laughs> no, I'm lying. I've monkeyed with one or two at work. Apparently, I have... Skyfed the screw out of there at some point. I have a whole another one of these carburetors up there. That's not a problem. Yep. Totally remembered about that. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, like I said, I think that's gonna be it for tonight. I don't know if I'll come back out here and monkey with this later. Who knows? Gotta see what kind of wiring that dash I have has with it. Cause I could put the steering together all except for the bottom. Get some steer steer tires out. I actually have the tank garage open for once so you guys can actually see my hoard of parts. There you go. You guys can see I was digging through some tires. I was gonna change those ones, but the rims are too screwed up. So I didn't I didn't do that. The one's real rusty and the other one's got a big big dent in it. I don't remember how that happened, but regardless, I'm gonna get some uh some things moving here. When I get this thing to a point where I know it'll run and drive, I'll slowly buy things for it, like you know, a shifter plate. Be kind of handy. But for now, I can watch the linkage work and everything, and make sure nothing's uh, contacting. So, one thing I didn't really think about: starter solenoid. I'm gonna have to go steal that off of the 400 I just pushed outside. So right there, the, the hydraulics are in flip. I said, I wonder if that lever got bent on the 818. But, okay. Talked for another minute, so. Later, guys. Mm-hmm. Loving it when a plan comes together. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, boys, we got a full-blown roller. And I did test the brake. actually seems like it works. So, nice. Got the shifter linkage laid in here, and be long now I pulled the parts another parts machine in back here I can pull parts off of electrical stuff found the points and condenser for this the new stuff I had so after dinner here we'll get this baby going mm -hmm. at least here it run I won't be able to drive it more than three feet but you know 
Alrighty guys, do have my parts manual out here. I'm going to be uh, taking a look at the steering, transmission. i show you guys I do actually have the illustrated parts list. I very seldom use them because most of the time a lot of common sense will go a long ways. Manual lift set up. That reminds me, I need to get a... Uh, clip on that one shaft yet. I haven't got that out. I chose the hydraulics. Why the shifter plate is in with the hydraulics, don't ask me. So is that bore in there the right way? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, for the hydraulics, yep. Yeah. So that's why I have to split the trans is because the gear the gear is bigger than the hole. It's best to my understanding. Haven't totally, like I said, haven't looked into that. That's like the next thing on my list. So, let's see about the steering. What is number 18? Thank you guys. Let's see, where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? Number 18, there is a plate. It is a bear, a spherical bearing, and I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I don't have one of those unless it's stuck to the steering shaft, which I'm pretty sure it's not. So let's see here. That's really easy to check. Uh, answer to that question is no. Nope. So, gonna need, gonna need one of those, that's on the acquire list, uh, and I need a nut too. What is the nut? Number 15, number 15 is a 435507, it's a half by 13, so it's just a regular half inch. Let's see, you guys in the right one there. Battery's about, I never did charge a battery. But, uh, nut lock half by 13, so that's just a normal half inch, half inch coarse thread lock nut, so that won't be a problem. There's actually a half inch bolt laying right there. Yep. So, I'm going to put you guys on the charger, and I'm just going to do a lot of, a lot of what I'm going to consider dumb stuff here. Like put the points and condenser in and set that and probably scrounge up some the rest of the bolts for the frame and put in here. I'm just gonna put regular ones in for now because I don't don't have any and I will add that to my list. And knock that shaft the whole way in before I forget. And uh tomorrow I'll go out to my truck and get a clip for it. And we'll go from there. Or get the cotter pins out and start having a cotter pin party. Like a one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six things I can think of easily. And yeah, that need cotter pins and stuff in it or bolts. Just kind of start looking through my hardware and stuff and see what I have, what I don't have, and blah 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 blah. Get the dash out, see how that fits on there, what needs to be done. So anyhow. Let you guys charge. Maybe I'll put a little bit of oil in the hydraulic system and see if it just starts puking everywhere. Uh, in reality, I could probably spin the hydraulics with a drill or something and try it. I could probably rig up something. I could probably uh, uh, cut a slot in a socket or a piece of pipe or something and uh, try that. Or just a piece of steel. It doesn't have to be real good it just has to be you know just has to spin it a little bit for testing purposes I don't need any high pressure so anyhow let me keep playing around here see what I can do be back at you guys in a bit so the one thing I do know here after looking at this broken piece of the dash left on the frame and my broken dash it is definitely the fact that these two at one time were one piece. 
So, I know for a fact this is a 78-8000 series. So go figure that out. Early 8000 series. Granted, can I tell if this frame and transmission were together? Uh, I can't per se, but it would make sense. Either that or this come off a of 816T would be the only other thing. So it makes a logical sense out of them parts. So Anyhow, figured I'd come back and show you guys that and I noticed that and thought it may be interesting to somebody. So, see what we can do. I have to wrangle up throttle and choke cables. Might do that in the daylight. I kind of forgot about that. Eh, what are you going to do? So guys, got a lot of little things straightened out here. Like all the cotter pins for on the shift linkage so they don't, they don't fall out. Everything does work. High and low. Uh, first. Third. Second. Fourth, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure that's right. And forward goes in. It doesn't make the nice snap sound like I like I would like it to, but I think part of that is see how much play is in this linkage here. If I put you guys on the tripod you can see it better, but when you pull it out it snaps. The reverse snaps real good going in, but doesn't really give you that, that positive spring back it should have. So that's the only thing I got about it. I'm wondering if the, uh, well, I don't know if the springs were, weren't missing, were missing underneath the clutch. It wouldn't come out at all because it's not held over this way by anything except the springs. So, I don't know. It could be... Maybe I have this a little too tight down in there, but I only went down to the ends of the threads. So, I don't know. Stuff for tomorrow night. I never did get the points put in this or the condenser. So, tomorrow night, going in and watch TV show. Later, guys. Alright, guys, so... Did I mention... Last night that the dash was mounted? I don't know if I mentioned that or not. I was kind of in a hurry to go watch my TV show. Uh, I have a solenoid and the battery cables out of said parts 400 frame. So I have that. I borrowed the headlight assembly out of another tracker. That's uh, hey, look at that. They even work all three. So I got that going for me. Still got to run a wire over there, but you know, third world problems. Oh, and I took the headlight switch out of said tracker. And I have been hunting all over for a throttle cable to work on this. I think this is a... Uh, I think the throttle cable on this is a little bit longer than the Kohler ones. Because it has to go back here, come across, and it goes... And it clamps right here and goes to here. Whoops, there you go. You guys can see, but... Yeah, it's one of the longer ones. So, I don't know. I may end up having to buy a throttle cable for this. Which, I guess if all I have to buy for this is a throttle cable, uh, the rack gear, I could probably find a choke cable. The choke cables are, the nice thing is they're kind of universal. You know choke cables, hashtag choke cable life, but uh, what was I going to say, got sidetracked, if all I have to buy is a throttle cable, a rack gear, figure I've had that PTO clutch for years, really I haven't, other than my time and the rack gear, so far I haven't really put any money into this thing. Now when you go and I, I put the PTO clutch into this, normally that would be a whole lot of money, but uh, I bought it for a fairly cheap price. I think I paid $200 for it with with uh, 
bought a bunch of L stuff with it too, from what I remember. It's the same guy I bought the snow cap from, but anyhow, uh, really not into this thing a whole pile of money. So, like I said, the next thing here is I guess I'm going to wire it up. I'll put my custom gravity feed fuel tank to it, and we'll just see if we can get it to run again. Uh, and then go from there. You know, that's all I can really do. Once I get it to a point, it'll run. And then I'll run a fuel line the whole way to the front and get it to run off its own tank, which I have over there. And once we're done up front, and I can put the hood on, then I can move back here. So, without further ado here, just gonna bring you guys back in as I do major things, like I get it get it to start and run once uh, I'll bring you back then until then I'm just going to be doing all this kind of small dumb stuff I'm also going to get the steering wheel for this just to throw on there I can half half drive it but you have to watch because if you pull up on it it comes up out so uh, so yeah and it's not like you can put it back in yeah, yeah you can put it back in while you're rolling but it's not real easy till I figured that part out so uh, Anyhow, I'm going to get to wiring. When I get to firing, I'll bring you guys back. Oh, yeah, and i, I got to fix the bead leak on this tire yet. See, uh, it's sat. Oops. Sat overnight. It's flat. You know, I might work on that clutch linkage, too. Mm-hmm. Just all doing little bits and pieces, guys. Got to put some air in this tire, too. Mm-hmm.